Hey everybody, so here's a test uh, for the Cyberpunk benchmark and the reason why I was doing this is to determine once and for all, let's put it like that, if there's a performance hit and how much of a performance hit, at least for this game, for example, because I, I know that I got to test uh, Red Dead Redemption and I don't know what other games have their own benchmark tool or a standardized way, consistent way of testing um, the the game through a benchmark instead of playing with. So I was testing the Cyberpunk, uh, same configuration in all cases, and here's what I was thinking in the beginning. So OBS and the GPU screen recorder will have the same performance hit compared to the amount of FPS that I was getting, getting with the game without recording anything. Okay, so by default, and let me zoom in here, uh, at 4K with all the settings that I had there at that, at that moment, um, I was getting, you know, between what, 71 and 73 FPS for the benchmark. Again, 4K and all that. Uh, and here's the max, just to give an idea of the max that they got at that moment. Okay, then I test it with OBS. Okay, with OBS, I was getting, we're talking, what, 13, yeah, like 11 to 13 less FPS, okay? I'm going to be leaving this document um, on the, on the, uh, there's a Reddit group called Linux Gaming, and I'll be leaving it here in the description below, so you can also read it. But I was getting on the... Um, you, using full screen on OBS, basically 11 to 13 F, less FPS, okay? And here's the, the full screen for it. When I test OBS at window mode, I was getting a little bit more. So basically just 10 FPS less, more or less, 10, 10 to 8 FPS less. And then I started testing GPU full screen. With the full screen, GPU screen recorder was getting, we're talking roughly probably like what three to five fps less instead of ten three to five with a gpu window i was just getting two two fps less uh two to three let's put it like that or basically almost there and with a gpu focus window basically i was just getting two fps less there are other special cases here that i i actually mentioned here in the notes what the special flatback case one was um, that I use there so you can test it yourself too but then suddenly I test it and I actually have all the like what I'm benchmarking here for each case but when I test it KDE it got me the same performance for with the GPU focus one there and for the GPU full screen I was even getting getting better uh, recording when we graph all that you can see here that here's um kde kde is literally the one that has the highest performance and this is not kde 6 this is uh 5.27 okay so i'm finding out obviously i was assuming that kde would be very similar to version 4 which i had horrible experience with this is a complete game changer here um, it's having better performance than GNOME, the GNOME in Ubuntu uh, 2310. And here's the, the following one, GPU on GNOME. Then you got uh, this one, very stable one, which is the KDE there. Um, let me see here. The, the GNOME one, another GNOME one. This is the KDE focus one instead of the full screen I mean and so on and so forth okay um, the ones here at the bottom are the OBS one here and the other OBS the two cases of OBS so for some reason apart from the GPU screen recorder being more efficient in the performance department KDE is more efficient than GNOME that's what I ended up finding finding out here I left the graph for all the uh, Macs uh, GPUs, if you wanted to uh, 
check them out. Here's OBS. OBS has the the maximum FPS, but still, overall, the average one was just a lot horribly down. Um, here's the KD GPU Focus one that I was talking about, and here's the full screen. And you can read more about my notes here. So basically, with the with the OBS, we're losing by recording with OBS, either on GNOME. Uh, well, just in case, this is just GNOME. I didn't I didn't do OBS on KDE, but on GNOME, we were losing compared to the GPU screen recorder, we were losing let's say around 10. It's obviously it's 11 to 13, but let's just say around 10. And with the um, GPU screen recorder, it was only about two. So that's five times better recording performance between both of them. But even better for gaming wise was KDE without the compositor, of course, in, in the FPS department. It had the highest or closest one to the actual original game. So here's here's a case where the original game dropped to 71.6 and KDE full screen was 7.5. Here's one of the worst cases here. Well, actually, when it actually began, 73.18, you got here 70.79. So it's like a, a more or less like a two FPS less. I'm amazed. I'm amazed. I can't imagine what's coming on KDE 6. But I also was not imagining that KDE would have a better performance than GNOME. Let's put it like that. I was also not imagining GPU screen recorder would have also a better performance than OBS. Because if you've seen my previous videos for more than a year, I always use OBS for recording a game um, and I thought that was the performance of the actual game just with a little bit of a hit when I was doing the OBS but I was not expecting such a big hit when I ended up actually actually testing another GPU tool. All I can say that for example I did test, I put a note here, uh, let me see if I can find it, mm. oh here's a note, well Sorry for this. I gotta make this much bigger so you can actually see the notes at the bottom. Yeah, sure. Oops. Yeah, sec. Wait. There we go. There we go. Okay. So what is the performance difference when using other screen recorders? So Kazam simple screen recorder, only those two that I was able to test. Uh, they actually gave me very similar performance to OBS. Actually, Screen Recorder gave me the worst one, um, which is, uh, I still don't know why, because it's it's very simple, it's very, very similar to GPU, but I'm guessing it's because it doesn't use the GPU per se. But something to, to take into consideration if you want to record your game and try to showcase the real performance of the game. So again, at 4K, we're getting between um, 72, let's put it like that, and, and 73 on the actual game. Basically an average of 72.4, and on the best case scenario that I can see here was KDE with a 70.7 performance score there. So the cl closest one to to the actual original one. So I just wanted to showcase this for those that want to start recording, especially gaming. Um, and you can see the, the difference there and you can test it yourself because you can also see the tools that I use, um, the settings, the specific game that I was using, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so I hope you like this. Big hugs, think positive and give me your thoughts about this because I, again, I was not expecting KDE to be to be the winner of this. Bye.